Can we identify what, what type of cash flows is this one? Uh, and, and we have three types of cash flows, uh, uh, lump sums, annuities, and uneven cash flows. So we identify this as a lump sum. And then we find that the interest rate is 7% over eight years. So one way of doing this is to go into ex or use a formula. Now that I was showing them earlier, this is the formula approach. The other would be the other method. So you solve first 1 plus i, then you raise that to the eighth power, and then you multiply times 4,900. But the second option is what I did with Excel. I put all the inputs. And then type, we're looking for the future value. So I type the future value. The interest rate is 7%. My number is 8. Payment, 0. Present value, and it doesn't matter whether you put negative or positive. As long as you're consistent, I assume I'm taking this to the bank, so I put that as a negative. But if you notice, the answer will be the same. Look, the only difference is that is a negative value of 84. So as long as you get the answer uh, and you're consistent, you're fine. You're fine. You shouldn't be worried. I, I, I'm not going to put a same answer choice. One as a positive, one as a negative. I'm not going to do that. So, so that's the answer to our first first problem. Questions or comments for those who were online. I hope you can. Yeah, it, it seems to be working now. Let's try the second one. You can use your calculator if you want on the test. So. I advise you to use Excel because Excel is a lot easier, but if you prefer to use a calculator, it's okay. Uh, let's try now, let's clear this one. Let's try the second one. And this is the, the second question. You want to, oh, well, I hope you can read 